hey everyone welcome back so this is the another scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer okay so before moving into the questions let me show you the data okay and here you can see this is one table called as a sales table and i have imported this sales table okay into the power bi desktop environment and this sales table contain total seven columns that is sales id sales date customer id quantity value country and city okay these are the seven columns that we have inside this sales table then now let's go to the report view and here you can see this is one matrix visual okay and inside this matrix visual i have taken country and the city so that it will look like a hierarchy okay here you can see this is the country column and if i will expand this inside this country india i can see these are all the city all right then in the value sections i have taken the sum of quantity this is the sum of quantity column and this is the sum of value column okay these two columns i have taken in the value sections all right it means if i will tell you this matrix visual is showing the aggregate value of the quantity and the value on the basis of the country and city all right now our requirement is that in this matrix visual we have to create another column over here called as the calculate value okay and in that particular column we will show the data if it will be in collapse mode it means if the row are in collapse mode at that time that column will show the data on the basis of this sum of value okay and if the row are in expand mode at that time instead of showing these things we want to see the aggregations value of the quantity on the below part of this total value okay and this will be for all the row on this particular country column okay so let me show you the output how it should be look like okay for that just expand this okay and drag this calculate value i have already created this measure for all of you okay so we have to see how we can create this measure all right but before that let me drag this calculate value into this okay and now here you can see this will be the output it means if the row are in the collapse mode at that time whatever value that is available in the sum of value that same value should be reflected on this particular column okay but if it will be in the expand mode at that time here you can see this sum of value contain the total value okay and here these are the aggregations value on the basis of this particular cities right but our requirement is that when it will be in the expand mode at that time here it will be so the aggregations value of this quantity okay so let me explain again if this particular row are in the collapsed form at that time the value should look like this okay whatever value is available on this sum of value that should reflect over here okay but if it will be in the expand form at that time this value will be reflected here this is the first thing and instead of showing this data we need this data on the below sections of this particular value okay so this is the requirement so let's see how we can achieve this column so first understand why we are creating this column because by the help of this single column we can show the data for these two columns right because this is the aggregations value that is coming from here and these are the aggregation quantity that is coming from this particular column all right so instead of showing these two column we can only show this column so that it will be very easy for the user to understand right these are the quantity and these are the value so let's see how we can do this so for that first of all we have to create one matrix okay so just expand this table then right click on it then click on this new measure all right then rename it as true slash f okay then you have to give the equal to symbol then here you have to use another dex functions that is called as the has one value okay and this has one value take only one column as the argument and it returns the true when there's only one value in that specified column all right so here we have to enter the city name because we have to identify if the record contain the city name then it should be true otherwise it should show as false value okay then click enter then drag this true and false measure into this value section okay and here you can see these value are showing as the false because here in this particular country column it is showing the country name 
but if you will expand this at that time here you can see these are all the city right so our as per our requirement if it will be city it means if the row is showing the data for city then it should be true otherwise it should be false okay now again what we have to do we have to create another measure okay so just right click on this particular table then click on this new measure okay then rename it as calculate underscore value okay then equal to and here we have to write the if function first and inside that if function we have to use the dex functions that is has one value okay and then inside this parenthesis we have to give the column name that is city okay and just close the bracket then give the comma and again we have to use the dex functions called as sum okay then inside this parenthesis we have to give the column name that is quantity okay then click enter then close the bracket and again give the comma and then if it is false then here we have to give the value as the sum of the value all right then click enter then close the bracket again close the bracket and click enter all right and here you can see we have successfully created a measure called as the calculate value so what is the meaning of this calculated value so let me explain what i have written here if has one value of the city column it means if the if it is city column then we have to give the output as the sum of quantity otherwise we will give the output as the sum of value okay and now if i will drag this calculated value measure into this value sections if it is in the collapse mode here you can see this is the sum of value 8001.75 and here you can see this particular new column also contain the value as 8001.75 correct but if i will expand this here you can see instead of this value here i am able to see the quantity right in this quantity column you can see this is the sum of quantity and in this particular column here you can see if you will expand this india then here we are able to see this sum of quantity right but here it is the sum of value right so in this one particular column we can show the data for these two columns right here this is the sum of value and here this is the sum of quantity but previously it was showing as the sum of value and these are also the aggregate value of the value column on the basis of this country but now it is showing the aggregate value of the quantity okay and this is the aggregate value of the total cells right so in this way we can achieve our requirement all right so thanks for watching